Hey guys, this is Dr. Hermes Tech. Today we'll be checking out the S20 Plus camera and we'll do some videos and some photos and we're gonna see how it goes. So the world is pretty interesting right now. Here in Malaysia, we are required to practice social distancing. For some people, it may be a little bit hard to ask them to stay back. I'm cool with it as I've been trying to do that for a very long time. I have been confined to a very limited area, just outside my house and that's all. Sometimes I get to go to work to get some fresh air. So what are you going to do if you have an emergency and you need help? Who are you going to call? For me, I like to call the Avengers. But for this time, we can only call one Avenger. Everyone has to be responsible during this time and the Avengers are included. They have to practice social distancing as well by coming one at a time. So here I managed to get a shot of Captain America. He looks pretty darn good. Even though all the gyms are closed right now, Captain America looks still pretty fit. And if you zoom in right now, you can see on his arms, although it's not well defined on the edges, but you can still see the muscles over there. And despite being over 70 years old, I would say he still looks pretty alright. Not Chris Evans kind of handsome, but I would say still better than a lot of people. Photos taken on the light focus definitely gives a more dramatic feel. Here we're going to zoom in on his suit and on his shield. This is with using the 30x zoom. And as you can see, the photos look a bit soft, a bit jaggy. But for the fact that it's 30 times zoom, it's pretty alright. So one of the best things that's happened in the past decade is the fact that Spider-Man now is back in the MCU. Don't get me wrong, he does pretty well alone. But seeing him play well with others definitely puts a smile on my face. The deal with Sony though would expire and we have to one day come to the fact that he will have to swing solo one more time again. Here he is with his trademark hero landing. Not too shabby, despite landing on some rough edges. So it's only been less than a week or about a week and most of you might feel a bit restless. And if you do want to go out, I recommend you wear a face mask. Be like Deadpool over here, he wears a face mask all the time. Of course to cover that ugly face of his. So some of you might need to consider wearing it for a long term. If you feel to comply, you might meet some crazy doctors out there. So stay home and stay safe. If you don't have a face mask, maybe you can get a suit here like Iron Man. That will surely be able to protect you against all those viruses. With all that high tech he has, hopefully a new vaccine will come out soon. In the meantime, if you don't have any suit, wash your hands and stay at home. The world definitely looks a bit brighter and more quiet with less people around. Controversial, but no wonder Thanos was pretty satisfied with himself. These photos were taken from my car and to ease your mind before my country restricted our movements. So taking shots here in Malaysia isn't much of a problem. It's always sunny here, so it's pretty helpful when you want to take outdoor shots. Here I put on the Auto HDR, so you can see that on the shadows and on the background, it looks pretty alright still. Sometimes if you go on to the wide camera, you will notice that the buildings against the sun will be having a lot of shadows. The sky definitely looks a bit more punchy than it actually is. This is due to Samsung's processing but overall I would say most of the photos are pretty well balanced and nicely saturated if only my life was the same so having my movements restricted have made me appreciate the other things in life the flowers the dustbin the water the trees and the crows crowing it's a good thing and nowadays I have a new phone to capture these memories so Samsung, like I said, usually makes the photos a little more saturated. It looks more vibrant and punchy. Here you can see on the flowers over here, color looks well, right? A lot more details if you look around. Details on these shots are amazing, even with its 12 megapixel wide main camera. And if you zoom in with its 64 megapixel telephoto camera, you get a still pretty fair amount of details. Photos would definitely look a bit softer when you zoom in, 
but the fact that you can actually zoom in at 30 times definitely gives a lot of credit to the camera. And it's pretty common nowadays for a flagship phone to have an ultra wide camera and Samsung delivers one with a 12 megapixel f2.2. It's definitely one of the best ultra wide camera around. It has a wider angle to capture more in one frame. So the wide camera also helps with its super steady mode if you go on to video. What it actually does is that it actually crops in from your super wide camera so that it makes the video much more stable. And even if you're running and all that, it does a pretty good job like your GoPros. One of the benefits of having a S20 or S20 Plus over the Ultra Edition is its dual pixel autofocus. So if you're planning to focus something far away and you found something nearby and you want to focus on that, the camera will be able to focus uh, those close images pretty fast. So at video mode, you can record it at 1080p, 4K and even up to 60fps. And if you're really crazy, you can go up to 8K if you have an 8K television and you want to do some recording. But you will have to keep in mind that the stability is pretty bad at this point. Now let's go on to that front camera over here. I know I'm no Chris Evans, but I think I look still pretty alright thanks to its good front camera. In video mode, it still looks pretty stable with me inside. And you can see the colors of the back look very nice, punchy. So thanks to its 10 megapixel wide camera, you'll be able to catch a lot more in your photos with good details. Now let's check out that creepy, crazy zoom camera on the phone. And we're going to start off wide. And as we zoom in, you can see that the photos during video mode are pretty sharpened a lot. Not very natural. So I don't really find a use of using this uh, zoom camera. Probably if you're in the stadium and you want to zoom in to see a match or something, probably that will help. And for some of you creepy people out there, maybe during this time of staying at home, you might be finding it useful, I guess. Life definitely feels a little bit more slower nowadays. It's a good time for us to chill, relax and pick up a new skill. Here on the S20 Plus, you can record it in slow and extra super slow mode. So another thing on modern phone nowadays is the ability to take photos at night. And Samsung has definitely improved their night mode on their latest S20 phones. Here you can see some photos that were taken with the mode off and with the night mode on. A little more tweaks here and there in their software update will definitely be able to make Samsung compete with the likes of Google's Pixels and Huawei. So that is all guys, this is the camera test on the S20 Plus, I hope you enjoy it. I will be doing a comparison video with other phones as well. So keep supporting this channel. This is Dr. Hamid Stag, take care and wash your hands.